Good Sunday. This is my video vlog for April 16th, 2023. I listened to some great Carl Fontana that I hadn't heard before for a live broadcast, broadcast recording. And also in the Garlis and some Conrad Her Herwig. Uh, again, with Walt, the Walt Weisskopf group, the Nonette, which uh, actually... Uh, Met Walt Weisskopf many years ago in a, in a in a workshop, and didn't get to talk to him much. He's a very quiet guy. He went with the saxophones. I went with with the brass players. And uh, later uh, they had to put on a concert, which I watched at the Casino Estoril here. Amazing concert. Um, but besides that. Some things have been bothering me. I don't really like to get into much politics, but this isn't politics, it's life or death. You know, I live in Portugal. My son goes to school. He's got a little private school, but even in the public schools, you know, the biggest, the worst thing they worry about is bullying. You know, in his school, there's no bullying. You know, People ask me, why don't you come back to the United States? I said, well, I've got a 12-year-old son, and I don't want him to have to go through shooter drills and, and, you know, just horrible, horrible, horrible gun crime. And, you know, my my father-in-law, rest in peace, but he owns six guns. And he, it was legal because of his profession. He, he, had, he needed to own guns for self-protection. And... It's so simple. What he had to go through to own a gun was simple and made sense. It's, just, it's totally logical. The, the, gun, the gun, to prevent gun control, gun deaths is so logical. The only people who really, uh, the people that have illegal guns in this country are criminals. So if you're caught with having an illegal gun, you go to jail. Plain and simple. And what is an illegal gun? Well, I'll go over it real quick. There's about nine nine uh, points. Some of them are the same in America. Um, your age. You have to be at least 18 years old to own a gun. Same in America and someplace 21 in America even. Okay, that alone's not a good. Here's one that they, they don't have in, in, in America. You have to have a license. It's like a car. Start to drive a car. You need a license. You need a valid firearms license issued by the General Directorate for Internal Administration. That's what you need to own. Two. Three. You have to pass a criminal background check. Something they don't... <laughs> I, you know, they, they put this on the forms, but I don't think that's... that the, it's checked very well in America. You can tell me not. Another one that's not uh, in America it should be medical fitness. You have to be medically fit, medically, both physically and psychological. You have to pass an exam, medical exam. Next, you have to pass training, competence in training. You have to know how to operate the firearm correctly. Six. Let me move this down a little. I will uh, repost this uh, the, uh, uh, in the in the video in the comments. I'll repost this. You have to have state the purpose of why you own the gun. Um, you have to be a specific purchase, such as hunting, sports shooting, target shooting. I have a friend who does that in Kentucky. He's really good at it. Or self defense. Logical. Eight. You have to have self storage, uh, approved, uh, place to securely store your firearms to prevent unauthorized access. Obviously, and most importantly, which doesn't exist anywhere in America, the sale and transfer. Of firearms may only be bought and sold through licensed firearm dealers, 
who are subject to strict regulations and must keep detailed records of all transactions. In other words, if you want to sell your gun to your neighbor or to other family member, it has to go through a firearms dealer and you have to have all the above, one through eight. You have to qualify. You can't just, you can't load up your, your trunk, go to a, to a firearm show, load up your trunk of firearms and go to the next state who has regulations and sell the damn firearms out of your trunk. Doesn't, you can't do that here. It's impossible. You have to buy your, you have to go through all the paperwork, to go through all the training. And one thing they left out, you have to have in yearly inspections also. You have to declare you still have the gun. You have to show the police, the, the inspection bureau, that you still have the gun. In other words, it wasn't stolen or it wasn't, you didn't sell it illegally. Because if you don't, you're going to get a fine or you can be arrested. If you all of a sudden your gun disappears and you don't, you don't say that it's disappeared, you're held liable. So simple. So, so easy. Just copy what they do here in Portugal. We don't have any school shootings. Don't have, people People don't carry guns around. And you don't have to have a gun to, to really protect yourself in the daily, day-to-day. -day. Nothing. No, but people don't, you know... Police go to somebody's house. Like what happened recently in America? They went to the wrong address, and the 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 the, the people in the house were so freaked out they went to this you know because maybe there's they live in an area with a lot of gangs that they come to the door with their guns and the police shot them. The, the people were freaking out because somebody's coming to their house with guns. So, more guns means more people get shot. Plain. And simple. More people who have guns means more people are going to get killed by guns. And you still, here in Portugal, you still have the, the, the right to own a gun if you need it. If you don't need it, you don't have to have a gun. My father on needed it. He had a profession where he handled a lot of money and he needed the gun. If you say, okay, I'm a salesman. I'm carry, I have to collect thousands and thousands of euros and I need a gun to protect myself from being robbed. Hmm. And then you have to have the training because my, my, my uh, father-in-law at one point was robbed in a crowded place and he was carrying his gun and they wanted to rob his gun, but they, he had a gold chain around his neck. They took the gold chain, and he couldn't do anything about it. He couldn't shoot him because he was trained. You don't fire a gun in a crowded area. You don't do it because no matter how good a shot you are, you can miss or you can go through and through, and you can kill innocent bystanders. And the police are trained that way. They're, the police aren't around. Just don't blam, shoot somebody who's not who's not threatening their life, they're not allowed to because they know they could kill somebody easily. Bullets can go through a person and end up in somewhere else. Uh, 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 these these high-powered, you know, you're not allowed to buy military-style, you know, assault weapons here because they, they know that, you know, it's logical if you fire one of those those weapons at a house... It's going to go through the wall. It could kill anybody in the house. You don't even see it. How many how many drive-by shootings in the, in America? People are killed by drive-by shootings that are in the house on the other side of the, the shooting. You know, they shoot a whole bunch of bullets from a high-powered you know assault rifle. They travel through the through the window through the house and they kill the persons inside who aren't even involved in anything with what's going on. Those type of guns are forbidden here. So the type of firearms are not allowed. To prohib it's prohibited for civilian ownership of se automatic and semi-automatic weapons. Prohibited. So I'm not going back to America and putting my son through, through, through these drills and 
being taught that the if, if, a, if a gunman comes in and shoots people, you spread blood, blood all over your body so that they don't kill you. What to, you know, the, the trauma that's going on in American schools, the kids are going through trauma. It's ridiculous. So that's my rant today. I will post that. Uh, what parts can people ask me, you know? What, what gun control? What gun control laws you need are gonna take away our Second Amendment? And there's no none of these laws here in Portugal take away your Second Amendment to own a gun. You can still own a gun. You have to have a license. You have to follow the rules. You have to have rules, just like you have to drive a car with rules. Rules. That's that's what civilization is. America is becoming less and less civilized. So enough. Ciao.